Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will migration our code from 1.5.2 to 2.1.3. We will see after version change what other things need to change. Before adding anything let's quickly go through the application. Let's log in. Logged in successfully. Let's log out. Let's open the POM XML file. As you can see we are using version 1.5.2. Let's check what is the latest and stable release. Better open Spring Initializer page. As you can see it's telling 2.1.3 is a stable version. So now first change the version. Now it will upgrade all the Maven dependencies. Generally, it took some time. See it's completed. As you can see now project is showing errors. Let's open Java Resources folder. See many packages are showing error. Let's fix one by one. Starts with servlet initializer. Here actually framework change the Spring Boot servlet initializer class package. Delete the old import. And import the new. As you can see previously this class was a part of web support but now it's a part of web servlet support. See now there is no error. Before adding further changes let's add changes in an application properties file. Because here it will not show error at compile time. As you can see some yellow line means now those lines are outdated. Delete the management security enabled line. Now server context path will not work. Need to change with server servlet context path. If you watched the previous video then we are referring this inside spring security config class. So add changes in that file also. That's it. Now let's continue with active errors. Open logger aspect class. So instead of Apache logger, we will use SLF4J logger. And instead of logger get logger, we will use logger factory get the logger. See now there is no error. Anyhow we are not doing anything related to scheduler so let's delete this package. Now let's open service implementation package. Let's open all files which are showing errors. So mainly errors are related to find one and delete, because in spring 2 find one replace with find by id, and delete replace with delete by id. As you can see find by id is not directly returning an object, so instead of the object it's returning optional object. Why optional? Java 8 has introduced a new class optional in Java util package. It is used to represent value as present or absent. The main advantage of this new construct is that no more too many null checks and null pointer exception. So after find by id need to use get also. See now there is no error. Apply the same kind of changes all the places. Here instead of save use save all. See all errors are gone. Still showing some error. Let's open problems tab. See one error. It's telling update Maven project. So let's update. Click force update checkbox also. Click on OK. It will also take some time. See all errors are gone. Now let's run this project. If you observe, now log is also different. Server started. See it's working. Let's log in. Logged in successfully. Click on user list. Let's edit the last record. Oops set it page is not opening. Let's check what is the problem. Oops showing error. 
The error is related to JSP, command name form parameter. Let's open the form JSP. Here is the command name. Even when you select command name, it's prompting like deprecated use model attribute. Let's change. The same kind of changes are required in all the forms, but before that let's check user edit is working or not. See the page is opening. See edit is working fine. Now add a model attribute in all form JSPs. That's it, now let's go navigate through other pages. See it's working fine, let's log out. See register page also opening. Stop the server. Let's review whatever changes we added. I committed the changes, which you can find in our GitHub. If you want you can follow us on GitHub, click on Repositories, click on Almighty Java 2.0, click on Commit. Here you can find all the code. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.